Joining right now, the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, trying to increase diversity in STEM education. The Marine Research Institute, hosting the Bridge Builders Foundation. CBS 8's Regina Yerita, live in La Jolla now with more information on this. Regina. Yeah, Eric and Netta and some of the students are actually still here touring the campus here at Scripps. Uh, looking forward to more interactive and educational programs like they have already this morning. Now, uh, for many of them, it's not their, your typical type of field trip. It's uh, more of an academic field trip, but still lots of fun. And uh, it's been really interesting to see most of these students uh, interact with uh, speakers with similar backgrounds, seeing them reach a higher level of education and being motivated by it. Take a listen. A, a great platform for them to believe that they too can do that. The other part is it normalizes the expectation to exceed in an academic environment. And we really uh, are very excited about having them all come and volunteer a week of their time. And so the Bridge Builders Foundation is a program based out of Los Angeles that is dedicated to removing barriers of race and poverty through mentoring and educational support. It helps young minority students achieve their full potential and succeed in all areas of life. So today there's over 20 students from different grades and schools. Each year it's different high schools who take part in this opportunity. Uh, but this morning students uh, actually got to tour the ocean atmosphere simulator, which is a machine that they have here at Scripps that tracks wind speeds and analyzes bacteria or certain particles in the air. So students got to ask questions and learn more about the environment. Uh, but back out here, that's not the only activity that they have going on this morning. Uh, they're actually going to be heading to go a snorkel here in La Jolla Shores. Uh, so that's going to be really fun for them. But definitely a very uh, amazing experience for students, uh, high school students, who uh, many of them uh, have said that most of their high schools are considered low income. So for them to have an opportunity like this means a lot to them.